This part of the coastline is not far from my home and in Birches Bay and it used to have an old jetty here which is somebody recommended I come down here and try looking for artifacts down here. I did call down yesterday but the tide was really high and I found some sea glass but not much else and couldn't get around. So I thought I'd come back today when it's not raining, it's really calm and the tide's out and see what I can find. Start up here at the top because this was all underwater yesterday so I can have a really good look around. I'm dressed better because it's really still quite cold. And take Cooper Dog for a walk along the beach. See what we can find. I can see that there's a lot of rubbish coming out of this bank. Broken bottles. There's quite a few layers here. Could be worth bringing a trowel down and having a bit of a dig. You know, even if we don't find a single thing down here, this is one fantastic way to spend a morning. It's good for soul, it's a gift. You love it too, don't you? You're an adventurous little boy. So many birds. As soon as you find your first little bit of sea glass, you know you're heading in the right area. It's only tiny, but it's that icy blue, and it's pretty. And a bit of pattern tile. I found another bit to that yesterday, which looked like it had a little candle on it. I love finding these things, and they're so thick. That one is looks like a bit of a bridge or something. Why is it always blue and white? I found bits of this type of rock, and I actually I don't think it is rock. I think it's fossilized wood. It's really light and very dark and patterned. No. What do you think? I think it is fossilised wood. Let me know. There's a reason to pay attention where I sit down. Can you see love? Now that is a very big <laughs> inchman ant and they hurt. So I'm just going to leave love alone and move to another spot. Wow, this is so spectacular. Just a little uh, footnote to seeing old mate the inchman ant. More people in Tasmania die from inchman bites than snake bites. They are very toxic. So that and little jack jumper ants I try to avoid. I've not really ever come across them at the beach before. <laughs> but anyway, I thought you might be interested in that little bit of trivia while you look at this amazing view. Beautiful. Ever since I've been a small child, I've absolutely loved staring down into rock pools. So I was standing over here looking in a rock pool and a local comes along the beach and we start chatting about the history of the area. And he asked me what I'm looking for and I said sea glass. 
And he said, oh, oh I collect lots of the sea glass off the beach. And if you walk back where you've just walked and look up on the bank, he said, I leave them all on the bank. And I have just come across the biggest, let's get out of the, the way here of myself here, the biggest stash of sea glass I have ever seen. This whole side of this bank is covered with what he's found over all of the years that he's walked this beach and he's just put it up here on the bank. And it's really interesting because, try and get out of the shade, there's bits of old pottery. I mean, there's bits of everything. Beautiful patterned glass. He said, oh, take what you want. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So many beautiful pieces. Blues, greens, what? Look at it. Oh, honestly, it's just covered. It's giving me a bit of in interesting history, too. This little bit of... Here is old convict brick. And this is old tiles from one of the biggest local houses that were removed. Look at that beautiful little bottleneck. Um, <laughs> I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. Here I am getting all excited, well I should be, about the little tiny bits that I find and all along there's this lot. Wow, kind of shimmy up here a little bit more. There's an old spoon. Look at this bottleneck. Oh, it's gorgeous. And there's some more patterned glass. He says he's just been doing this for years. <laughs> Just popping it all up on the bank. He said there was more than this and that people have been collecting it. I'm not surprised. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. I, my hand can't hold it. Look at this one. It's all from this beach. And he said it is all from where the old jetty used to be. And... broken bottles coming out of the cliff edge. I I think I've just got to stop filming for a bit and just rummage through it. Oh, this is crazy. I'm, <laughs> I've never seen so much sea glass in one spot. Oh, I... <laughs> take all of this this is I'll just take a few bits that I really like and leave the rest for someone else and just have a look have a look at how old how old these bits are oh I've got to get out of them the sun's directly behind me I'm sorry shadow oh wow oh yeah the blue bits, definitely. Well, some of the blue bits. <laughs> wow. Um, the thing is, it's not just on the surface here. He's been filling this up now for a very long time, so it's right underneath as well. Oh. My, my, my. Oh, look, I have to turn the camera off and dig some more. Look at this old chunk of glass out of that bank. That is old as. Stunning. Oh, this is just crazy. I could go crazy here. Look at this old bottle lip. And all this beautiful glass. Oh, thank 
Thank you, Peter. So this is really good to know. Peter's told me that these are part of the old convict bricks, which is fantastic. And you can see by the edge on this one that it was a handmade brick. I'm going to uh, I'll take these ones home. It's a great piece of local history.